uh, from the Open Bible Standard Churches here in Laventil. This is a fantastic church. Where are we located? 103 Eastern Main Road in Laventil. Our senior pastors are Reverend Dr. David Wiltshire and Pastor Lauren Wiltshire. So this morning, we are so happy to have you on this morning. We have in front of us, Brother Garnet Manswell. He is the manager of the service. And who am I? My name is Brother Ricardo Hooker. Hallelujah. We want to get into a time of worship this morning. Here at Laventil Open Bible, we have the best worship ministers. I make no apologies in saying that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let's stand this morning as we invite our dynamic worship ministers this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Led by Sister Elizabeth Taylor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy Resurrection Sunday morning. Praise the name of the Lord. May I invite you Thank to stand you, this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless Hallelujah. Name. We bless the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. Let us Hallelujah. just worship him this morning. He's alive. He is risen from the dead and he is Lord. He is King of Kings and he is Lord of Lords this morning. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. We worship you, O oh God. We adore you, Lord. We magnify your name this morning. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We welcome you in our midst this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise the name of Jesus. He is Lord. Hallelujah. He is risen from the dead. Oh, and he is Lord. There is none like him this morning. Jesus Christ, 
morning hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of Jesus let's clap our hands unto the king of kings and the lord of lords Liberty, the Lamb of God is risen. 
won't be silent. I won't be silent.
is worthy this morning. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. We serve a big, 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 big God. morning God we worship you hallelujah 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 praise the name of the Lord hallelujah praise the name of the Lord God is good we are not worthy of you what he would have done for us, but he did it. Oh, hallelujah. Nothing we did to deserve this love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But he went for Calvary just for us. Hallelujah. He looked into eternity. 
And he knew we would have needed a savior. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. You did not wait for me to draw nigh to you, but you clothe yourself in frail humanity. You did not wait for me to cry out to you. But you let me hear your voice calling me. You did not wait. You did not wait for me to draw near to you. But you clothe yourself in frail humanity. Lord, you did not wait. You did not wait for me to cry out to you, but you let me hear your voice calling me, and I'm forever grateful, Lord, to you. I'm forever grateful for.
he came. Oh, he came. Yes, he came for you and me. Hallelujah. Lord, we are forever grateful to you, Lord. We are forever grateful to you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. We praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he lived this morning, we can face tomorrow. Hallelujah. How many of us could testify to that? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Because our God lives. Because 
name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just lift our hands Praise this morning. The Praise the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've asked the worship ministers just to stay back a little bit. Hallelujah. Could we just put up this slide which says, Behold, he holds the future. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Who could remember when the Lord said, Come to the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Who can remember that day that you said yes to the Lord? Jesus. Hallelujah. You didn't know what you was getting into. But one thing I'm assured of. He holds the future. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to do something slightly different this morning. Could I see those who have been saved one to five years? Just lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Six to ten years. Eleven to fifteen years. 16 to 20 years. 20 years and above. Hallelujah. For those who are online. For those who are here for the very first time. For those who are here for the very first time. It is not we keeping ourselves. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. It is because tomorrow. we can face tomorrow. Before you have your seat, let's give our God a high note of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You may have your seats this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he lives. Hallelujah. On that note, I want to welcome those that are with us for the very first time. You are here walking through these glass doors for the very first time. I want you to stand this morning. We want to acknowledge you this morning. Hallelujah. We want to give you the spotlight this morning. Hallelujah. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for visiting here at Love Until Open Bible. If you do have a home church, feel free any Sunday. You come, you're always welcome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We want to ask you to remain standing just for a couple seconds again. Hallelujah. Church, very first time. Let's put our hands together for them. First time. You're always welcome still. Young man, you're always welcome. Thank you very much. Do we have anyone that celebrated a birthday between Monday and today? We want to ask you to stand. Hallelujah. i smiling from ear to ear because the next part coming up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look, we have a birthday girl. Hallelujah. Just below the balcony. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just before. What about anniversary? Hallelujah. I stand it up. I stand it up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We have Jason. Kissy, kissy go by Jason. Hallelujah. I also have my beautiful wife. 27 years. And she looking younger. Hallelujah. Praise Glory the Lord. Glory to God. I'm taking it today. Go ahead. Happy birthday and happy anniversary to everyone. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. We celebrate in We have a birthday today. We have a birthday today. We have a birthday. We have a birthday. We have a birthday today. We have a birthday today. We have a birthday today. We have a birthday. We have a birthday. We have a birthday today. We have a birthday today. We have a birthday today. We have a birthday. We have a birthday. We have a birthday today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That is good, Jason. That's right. Walk the wife of the yeah. That's the wife of your youth. Hallelujah. Carl, I love you this morning. 27 years. Hallelujah. 27 wonderful years. I'm going strong. Hallelujah. We turn our six demo. Hallelujah. Glory to God. At this time, it is my honor to always invite this team. We want to invite Kem this morning. Hallelujah. Birthed right here. Out of love until open Bible. Glory to God. So we invite them this morning. Let's put our hands together for Kem. Hallelujah. Jesus. 
we're paging Brother Bernard Cumberbatch. Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. A happy resurrection to all of you and a special Sunday morning greeting to our baptismal candidates. God bless you. Praise the Lord. This morning, we are going to do a special arrangement done by our very dear brother, Theodore Hicks. We are going to minister to you through scriptures and song. May your hearts be blessed. We have some special guests with us, Reverend Vinette Wright and Minister Bernard Cumberbatch. Praise the Lord. clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him even so amen I am Alpha and Omega the beginning and the ending said the Lord which is and which was and which is to come the Almighty. Jesus. which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of archangels, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then 
we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with the Lord Hallelujah. to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we be ever with the Lord. I beseech you, comfort one another with these words. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall. an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised to incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall put on immortality then be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory hallelujah is swallowed up in victory i will ransom them from the power of the grave i will redeem them from death O death, I will be thy plagues. O grave, I will be thy destruction. Repentance shall be hid from mine eyes. O death, I will be thy plague. O grave, I will be thy victory. Repentance shall be hid from mine eyes. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Oh, thy sting. The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God which gave us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Therefore my beloved be steadfast be unmovable, always abounding in the things of the Lord, since you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord.
Hallelujah. Glory. Let's put our hands once again for Kim. And the especially invited guests, Reverend Vinod Wright and the Minister Bernard Kamabach. Hallelujah. This time we want to go into our announcements. Tech team, could I ask Brother Kwashi to be on standby? As well as our dynamic voices of our choir, please be on standby. Hallelujah. Tech team, announcements. Happy Resurrection Sunday, and here are today's announcements. Laventil Youth Overcomers presents our logo design contest. That's right, design a logo for our Youth Overcomers t-shirt. There'll be prizes to be won. Submit your entries by April 15th. The winner will be announced on the day of our youth service relaunch. For more information, contact anyone from the youth leadership. It's our logo design contest. Let's go. All the mothers in the house on Saturday, 11th May, something good is going to happen on that day. Go to your calendars and save the date. It's going to be a grand affair. Stay tuned. Calling all good men, men of power and purpose. Join the MOVE for their annual conference. 6th April 2024, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Cochier Open Bible Church, San Fernando. Don't miss an opportunity to be enlightened, empowered, and transformed. You are invited to the National Intercessory Prayer Network Weekend Retreat, Prosper God's Pleasure, Friday, April 12th to Sunday, April 14th, 2024, at the Gospel Deliverance Ministries, Inal, cost $550 and $600 inclusive of transport. Register online to book your space. Join the National Youth Overcomers for their annual Youth Leadership Summit on April 10th, 2024, 9 a.m. Admission only $100. Please be advised there will be no Monday evening prayer meeting tomorrow on Easter Monday. There will be no early morning prayer and midday prayer meetings for the month of April. Warriors of Prayer, embrace the call to unite in the act of prayer at National Intercessory Prayer every Saturday online at 6 p.m. Hey kiddos, dive into the Word of God at Junior Church every Sunday from 9.30 a.m. Don't forget to mark your calendars for Mountain Movers Healing and Deliverance Service every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Join us for Christian Education Hour and Converts Class on Sundays at 8.30 a.m. Swing by every Thursdays for a virtual Bible study as we dive into the good word of God starting at 7 p.m. You can make your tithes and contributions by depositing them into the account number provided. Once it's done, please let us know. Thank you for watching and God bless. Pleasant morning, saints. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I trust that everyone is seeing the fly on your right. This morning, I have an announcement to make pertaining to evangelism. 
this is good news. When I say good news, I expect to see smiles on your faces and an amen and say that God is glory, you know. Because not every day we get to go out into the city. So the team of um, the Evangelism Committee, um, Evangelism Outreach, for April, the fri Friday, the April, the 12th of April, from our 5 o'clock, we'll be going out on the promenade to share our faith. And we ask that each and every one of you come on board and join us, you know. The word of God says that we are to go out into the, into the streets and, and share our faith, you know, and baptize these people in the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit. Because we are called to be the light of this world. And we can shine our light only in the church, but in the community, wherever we go. So out in the streets. So let's go out in the name of Jesus and let's share our faith. So we ask each and every one to come on board. You know, I know some people may be fearful and some may say they don't, they can't share their faith, but the power of God is within you. And we all have people who are unsaved, and we would like to see them saved. And we could only share our faith and give confidence to people if we go out and be that light. You know, I remember a testimony of a, a very prominent pastor who indicated that he actually was saved by a truck. So don't think that I'm just going on, share your faith and hand, and our truck is insignificant in any way. Please, come forth and just make yourself avail to the kingdom of God, because the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom. So let's offer sacrifice also in terms of service to God. But on this Thursday, by coming out and sharing our faith, it's on Friday the 12th of April at half past five on the Barana Promenade. Uh, we are assembling at the Lions. For those who know, those who know what the Lions is, is um, Nicholas Towers or Flo where you go and pay a cable bill. So I expect everyone to come forth this t um, t on the 12th and share your faith. Um, for any further information, you can just contact me. My number is on the flyer. Thank you. Oh God bless. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. This morning, we want to receive the offering. So could I ask our silvers this morning? Hallelujah. Father and God, this morning, we want to thank God. We want to thank God for your provision, Lord. We thank you for providing for us this morning. We thank you that, Lord God, we have jobs. We thank you that, Lord God, you are providing for us financially, spiritually. In all ways, you are providing for us, Lord. And Father, this morning, as we give back a portion unto you, we pray that it will be used for the furtherance of your kingdom. Bless the gift. Bless the giver. These things we ask in Jesus' precious name. And we all shall shout. Amen. Amen. Give cheerfully this morning. Give cheerfully this morning. Hallelujah.
Thank you, sir. That paid my way, death its price. When it flowed down from the cross, my sins were gone. My sins were gone. I tried to hide this precious blood that gave me life in three days he
Put our hands again for the dynamic voices of the Lavantil Open Bible Choir and our dance team. Glory to God, glory to God. At this time, it's an important aspect of our service as we invite our baptismal candidates to the altar. Could I invite also Pastor Suresh Durga Singh? We have Sister Joan, Sister Ronell, and Sister Joan. Could I also invite you to the altar along with Reverend Dr. David Alexis. Could you come at this time now, candidates? What's it? Oh my God, David Wiltshire, my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus.
Good morning. All right. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, I have the wonderful opportunity this morning to introduce the baptismal candidates, especially the 13 and under. I have spent every Sunday for the past two months, one hour every Sunday, with this group of four lovely young people who keep me on my toes every Sunday. Um, great way to start the week, right? Sometimes I have to say their name 10 times within the hour, but wouldn't change it for the world. So before I introduce them to give their testimonies, I just want to take a moment to you know, give the parents, friends, well-wishers who might be here um, for them to stand. Um, so we have the family of Anthony, Elijah, Michael, Faith. If you guys are here this morning, we just want to give you the opportunity to stand so they can see your faces. Um, just because I know standing here could be nerve-wracking. I'm very nervous, I'm not, and it's not even about me. Um, but just seeing all your beautiful faces sometimes, the nerves kick in. So I think just seeing the friendly faces for them to pinpoint while they give their testimonies will be very beneficial. Also, I just want to say, you know, thank you for entrusting me with your young adults. I hope I did a good job in trying to explain to them, you know, what it really means to be baptized. So I would start off with my good friend, Anthony. Um, and I just ask that you guys, you know, you would cheer them on. They were all prepared. They all said they were nervous. But sometimes as soon as you hold that mic, everything changes. Amen? Good morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Anthony Simmons. I am nine years old. I thank God for saving me. One day when I was coming home from school, I got an asthmatic attack. A friend wanted to help, but instead I walked home. I prayed and asked Jesus to help me. When I got home, I told my mother and she took me to the hospital. But on our way, to the hospital, Jesus healed me. I no, I no longer wanted to go to the hospital, but my mommy said, I will still take you. Since that day, I never got asthma again. I thank God. I thank God for healing me, and I want to get baptized to follow Jesus. I thank God for my teachers, my pastor, will share for allowing me to be baptized. Amen. Elijah. Good, Good morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Elijah Tusia. Today I'll be sharing my testimony with you. Before I joined Believer's class, I had accepted God into my life, but didn't really understand the concept of reading the Bible and praying. My mother decided to put me in Believer's class so I, could, so I would have a better understanding of God's word and also the meaning of baptism, which is the physical representation of giving your life to Jesus. Morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Christian Ona. I thank God for saving me. A year ago, I lost my mommy. Now Jesus is my best friend. I wanted to follow him in water baptism so that we may be best friends forever. Good morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Faith John. I am 13 years old. I decided to give my heart to the Lord because the past few years was, hasn't been so good and I lost some of my family members but I gave my life to the Lord and it still didn't really comprehend in my head so I decided to come into baptism because a lot of people told me, Faith, you know you should get baptized 
Yeah, you know, she got baptized. So go and get baptized. But that is not the reason I'm here today. I'm here today because I want more miracles and more blessings. And I want my family to be safe and nothing bad to happen to them. So I just come here to say I am very thankful for letting you all let me get baptized. Amen. Before I hand over to the adults class, I don't think I introduced myself, did I? My name is Ronel, sorry, apologies, like I said, nervous. Um, and I teach the 13 and under baptism class. It has been extremely rewarding spending every Sunday with these young people. Um, and I just want to take a plug to say that while we are get there getting baptized today, it does not mean that they will be perfect from now on, you know? It's going to be a gradual change as they change their old ways and become new people. And especially as young adults who are still in school and they have all those influences. So parents, grandparents, well wishers, just, you know, be easy with them. You know, you're not going to see an instant change. For some people, it might happen quicker than others, but it's a process. Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. Isn't it a glorious day this Easter Sunday for us to have these baptismal candidates? God's been good. God's been good. On behalf of Sister Deborah, Brother Suish, and myself, we want to introduce you to our more senior believers class that have decided to follow Jesus Christ in water baptism. Um, it was a pleasure for us. We always feel like proud parents, although they are older. We always feel proud to know these persons have really stayed the course. Make sure they come here on time. It's not easy to reach here 8.30 every Sunday, but they do it despite all the cooking and cleaning some of them had to do. They made sure they came on time, and we are really thankful that they did not give up. They did not go back, you know. Um, just wanted to let you know, unfortunately, today we have two candidates, um, a husband and wife, Felicia and Jamie. They had a personal emergency this morning, and they could not make it. So I want you all to remember them in prayer and ask God to keep them and be with them in their time of need. Um, so I'm just going to hand over to Pastor Tell me I have to pray for them now. All right. Hallelujah. <laughs> I have to obey, right? Father, we give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you honor and glory. Father, today we know we celebrate Resurrection Sunday. Father, you didn't just raise from the grave, you raised from the grave with power. Power, oh God, to save, power to deliver, power to help, power to take us through any situation we may encounter. And Father, this morning we bring Jamie and Felicia before you. Father, you know their need this morning. Father, you know the trouble that they are in, but Father, you tell us you are a present help in time of trouble, oh God. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will come alongside them this morning, oh God, that they will know that you have not forgotten them, that they will have the assurance that you will never leave them nor forsake them in their time of need. Father, oh God, even now I cover them under the precious blood of Jesus. Father, oh God, may your holy angels stand guard around them, oh God. Father, oh God, I pray, Lord, that you would lift up their countenance this morning. Father, despite what they are going through, oh God, you would let them know that you are able to help them, oh God. And Father, we are thanking you even now because we know once we pray and we ask in your name, you will. You promise us that you will do it, oh God. And this morning, Lord, we know that you will do it for Jamie and Felicia. And Father God, we are thanking you that they will come out of this and they will have the opportunity to follow you in water baptism at another occasion. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. So I'll hand over the mic to our youngest in the adult believers class. And he will introduce himself. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, my name is Nathan Hall, and I'm 13 years old. Um, when I was about four or five years old, um, I went on a school field trip, and I caught an asthma attack, and I was rushed to the hospital. And my mother, my grandfather, and basically most of my family was there, and they was praying for me. And when they was finished praying for me, um, some doctors came into the room, and they told me that everything was fine and everything was better with me. And I thank the Lord for saving me that day because he really saved me from that asthma attack and he helped me to live another day. 
And in 2017, in this Open Bible Church, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And today, I hope to join, today I hope to follow Jesus Christ in water baptism. Amen. Good morning, church. My name is Christian Jackson. Um, my life before I got saved was like being around wrong people and not praying often and not getting closer to God. The day I guess if it was when all of you started to go over in Shekina, the pastor same as was talking to us about Jesus and the wrong things that we are doing that we have to speak, ask God for forgiveness and he said those who feel that they need to be saved son up and I did. And he said close your eyes and just have a talk with God. Ask him for forgiveness for the wrong things you did in your life, and I did. And I felt a connection with God, like I stopped being around the wrong people in school and started praying more often. Amen. Now, I want to testify the reason I'm getting baptized. This incident happened two years ago. That time, I was going to do my SA. Before my SA, my grandma fell sick, and I was worried because I didn't want nothing happen to her. The day before my essay, my friend and I and his family went out just to relax ourselves before we do our essay. Six thirty, I came back home. As I entered the premises of my home, I saw my father and my great grandma talking, and I heard that Granny went in the hospital and sat down. I sat down and I prayed to God that she is going to be okay. Next day was essay, so I was. Happy to do my essay, and, and I went and did it. As me and my friend was walking home, I saw my auntie and Auntie Janet. So I told my friend I'm going because my auntie was calling me. And she asked how was essay, and I said it was great. I saw the, the face on her, the um, sad face on her face, and asked her what happened. She told me Granny passed away. I said, I started crying because my that was like everything to me. And I went home, still crying, crying, crying. I sat down, think of what will I do without her. Week passed, and there was a funeral. Then bury, and they bury her, and I went home. I didn't really want to speak it with anyone because the, the way I was feeling. That weekend, I was only sleeping, and, this, and that time, I fell asleep. And this sleep was like I went on another world, surrounded by crows, and I saw my grandma and God. And they was talking to me about something, and grandma said, Christian, you need to get baptized. And I was hesitant at first because I was young, but God said, you're never young to get baptized. So I thought about it, and I said I was going to get baptized. And today, I want to give the whole life in obedience of all Jesus in water baptism. Good morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Sharman Durham, and I've been here for the longest, longest time. <laughs> coming in Bible class, everybody coming and pass me. I said, but what is going on here, boy? I can't do this thing at all. I'm only getting hindrance, hindrance. And one day I come and I get sick. I always come with my two children, and I come and get sick and end up in the hospital and pastor sent people to look for man's too. I end up now, they send out the form for baptism. When I read this form for baptism, I say, but what is wrong with these people? All these things, these people, Jesus never do all of this to baptize you. <laughs> this part, I keep, all yesterday, I don't know what to do for testimony now. I just wake this up so much people and tell them all about God and tell them this and how they life and this. I can't get a little thing. I say, I go in my bed, I say my prayers. For the morning, the Lord send something for me. Thank you for baptism. Let the light shine. Let your light shine for the whole world to see. Even your two children, 
I said, thank you, Jesus, for that word. I've given them it this morning. Thank you. Morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Andel Jerome. I want to thank God for just being here today for this beautiful day that he has made. And thank for this church for having me here today. For my testimony, I want to start with today, with me just being here, making the conscious decision to give my life to Christ and to follow Jesus in being baptized and following in his footsteps. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason and everything is to God's will. That's why from since school, I grew up kind of smart. <laughs> but then, you know, things change, you know, one thing led to another. Life started happening. I went from homelessness to incarceration to all sorts of things. But I'm here today. And here's, here's the story about... When I was about 17, 18, I grew up in church, just to put that out there. I grew up in an Anglican church. Um, I, I was baptized when I was an uh, infant. I, I don't even know how old I was, and that kind of stuff. And I, I left the church when I was about 18. This was not the Anglican church. I left the Anglican church before that. I went to many other churches. And I just, for many various reasons, I got fed up, for lack of a better word. And God is so good that everything that happened after that, whether it was good or whether it was bad, all the people that I met along the way brought me back here 20-something years later to be... <laughs> this is the first time I've been to church in 20-something years. <laughs> and I'm here today to be baptized. My salvation came coming to this church right here. My first day, second day, when the pastor called us up, I asked who needed to be saved. So I just want to really thank you all so much for having me and for, and just thank God for bringing me here to this church. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, praise the Lord. Come put your hands together for these wonderful candidates. Amen. Come on, put your hands together, man. Come on, this is a day of rejoicing. This is a day of rejoicing. If this is not happening, our church is in vain. Are you understand what I'm saying, church, this morning? If souls are not being baptized, what we're doing here is in vain. Because our mission is to make disciples of all nations. And part of the discipleship process is that first you get saved, then you get baptized, then you get involved in whatever work that God has called you to, and you continue to serve the Lord. Amen? Amen. So put your hands together again for these brave souls. <laughs> Amen. Wonderful testimonies. You know, I like testimonies. Eh? I like to hear testimonies. Because when you get a testimony, it is this person, what God is doing in that person's life. They didn't, they're not telling you what somebody told them, what they heard about somebody is what God is doing in their lives. And there were several, several um, circumstances that we heard here this morning. We heard that God is able to heal. Amen. And that's a good place to put your hands together for Jesus. He's able to save, as all of them would have testified. But before we go further, maybe there's someone here today. You have heard the testimonies. You probably could identify with what the individual shared with you. 
And you are saying, Pastor, you know, on this resurrection morning, I would like to give my life to Jesus. Like these. And then we heard about the over 20s. This morning we have people who have given their hearts to the Lord over 20 years ago. Some over 50 years ago. Yes. So it means that Jesus is able to keep you from falling. And you say, Pastor, oh, go, go ahead, no problem. But give, give God the glory because he deserves all the glory this morning. You, you, you say, Pastor, I've listened to these testimonies and somehow or the other the Lord is speaking to me. I want to give my life to Jesus now. I don't want to wait till tomorrow or later. If that is your desire, could you slip your hand high and I will see it? Okay, I see that hand. Is there another one? Is there another one? Just, okay, I see another one. Is, what about the balcony? Anybody in the balcony this morning? Online, you are free to join us. Is there one more person before we pray? Praise the Lord. Is there one more? Praise the Lord. Could I ask those two persons just to come and somebody in the balcony? Come quickly. Somebody help them. In the, come right here. Okay. Praise the name of the Lord. And we want to thank God for these two young men. Somebody else is coming. Come on. Let, let's, keep, let's keep them. In, let's encourage them. Amen. Keep the hands. It's not easy to walk from quite. This corridor is a very long corridor and it's very long. Amen. For people to leave their seats quite long, they'll come quite up here. You have time to change your mind, eh? And we thank God for her. Come on, keep your, come on, church. Come on, let's encourage you. Come on, man, church. Let us not suffer from familiarity, please. It's a terrible place to be. Let's not get accustomed to people getting saved. Because the Bible says every time one sinner comes to repentance, the whole of heaven rejoices. The whole of heaven rejoices. Amen. And these folks here, some of them would have come right here. How many of you this morning came right here and made a decision? L lift your hands. Stand, stand. Let me see you. Stand, everybody. Who came right here and made a decision? Stand up. Come on. Put your hands together for these folks. And they are still serving God. Thank you so much. You may have your seats. They are still serving God. I gave my life to Jesus in 79. Yeah, it wasn't even a thought. And not one day, somebody had to come and visit me and say, but I ain't seen you. I have never backslided. And I don't intend to. God has kept me for these 30 how much years. I, 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 I can't remember. And God is able to keep you. I want you all to know that. Is there one more person? Say, I know you're making up your mind. Come quickly. Come. One more person. One more. To join the line. Okay. Praise the Lord. Could I ask you this morning, how are you, Miss Ali? Nice to see you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Could you say this prayer after me? Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask you to forgive me all my sins. I now ask Jesus to come into my heart to make me a child of God. And if you have said that prayer and you believe what you said, those on you online, if you believe what you have said, I want to pray for you, Father. We thank you for these souls. Oh, God, it is the reason why we celebrate Good Friday and why we celebrate Easter Sunday. It is for these that you die. For these that you die. And God, we know you are able to keep that which we have committed unto you against that day. And so we commit these souls into your hands, even those online, in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together. Let's take, we're going to get some vital information from you. Praise the Lord. 
Those of you online, if you have made that decision, call the number 868-729-7917. 868-729-7917. Or just go to the chat. There's a link you can click on and give us your information and we want to follow up with you. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. We also heard that God heals asthma. Who are the asthma cases here? Asthma. Two asthma. Could I ask those of you who have asthma to stand? Just stand. Asthma. Asthma. We call him by name this morning. Amen. And I think I want to, I want to keep standing, my dear. Amen. Okay, some people not sure. Asthma. All right. I think I want to extend it a little more to respiratory condition. Whether it's bronchitis, pneumonia, with, with, with the doctor, Dr. Vinet, call, call. This is the doctor in the house, you know. All right. Something in the lungs, infection in the lungs. Anybody have an infectious diagnosis? tuberculosis, or some infection, some respiratory condition you have this morning. You have problems breathing. Amen. Praise the Lord. L -l -l -let's, let's pray those of you who are close by. Just stretch your hands to those who are standing. God is able to heal. Oh God, we think about the stripes. Every stripe you took was for the healing of those who are standing here, Kayando. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that you will touch them, heal them. We command asthma to leave right now. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, you breathe freely now, amen? Breathe freely now. Breathe freely now, amen? Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. I want to thank, I want the candidate to just make one step forward. Probably two steps then. Okay, I want to ask our teachers just to come around these candidates. I want, I want to give a special thanks. You know, we have a newbie who is joining our staff of, of yes, a newbie. Yeah, she was, you didn't know that. You thought she did all the time. Yeah, Sister Ronell, she has joined us in preparing these children for baptism. Just in case, this is for the critics. Marshall Mantano was either six or seven when he said he wasn't too young to soak her. And these are all above six and above seven. Not so? And they are not too young to say, I want to be baptized and I want to serve Jesus. Amen. What's the formula for baptism? Let me tell you what's the formula. One, you have to be born again. That's the first step. You have to be born again. Secondly, you have to understand what it means to be baptized. And then be ready to dip you. Be ready to dip you. Once you understand what it means to be baptized, you understand the meaning of baptism. And we are ready to dip you. Are you understand what I'm saying? So let me say thanks to Sister Ronell, Sister Gaylord. She, you know, she had a little break. You now she has graduated. She's back with it. With it. See, Sister Deborah and I is a veteran in this thing. Pastor Surich, God bless you, my dear brother. I am so happy that Pastor Surich is there bringing balance to this team because this is only sisters. Only sisters. I thank God for the brother. Brother, thank you. Thank you, my brother. Amen. Because these children only miss and mommy and sister and, and who again? Auntie. And granny, 
That's all a lot of them are wrong. Only Auntie Miss, till even we have sometime across in Shokina, they call in the men Miss and all. I'm telling you, they call in the men Miss for their custom. Gentlemen, we need you. We need you at all levels. We need you men. Do we have men in the house? Men, 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 men. Do we have men in the house? All right, all right. So, thank you, this staff. And um, could you stretch your hands? Could you just stand and, and um, stretch your hands to these wonderful candidates as we lay our hands upon them? Because when we are finished here this morning, we are going straight to the pool. Um, give them time to change and so on. Don't run away, please. We want, we want you to witness we ask you to witness this great ceremony this morning. Father, we thank you for these lives. Lives that you have saved. Lives that stood up here this morning and testified about your salvation and about you coming to heal them and deliver them from the power and the penalty of sin. And I thank you this morning, O oh God, for each and every one of them. Bless them, O oh God. Fill them with your anointing. Fill them with your Holy Ghost. O oh God, help them to understand, Lord, what you have called them to, why you have called them. Help them to understand the contribution that you will want them to make in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put your hands together for them again. God bless you. Lead off, my dear brother. Thank you so much. Amen. You may have your seats. Praise the Lord. Our next baptism will be in November, God willing. It's going to be part of our anniversary celebration. We want to celebrate. And those of you who would like to get baptized this morning, you need to be a part of the class. It's preparation for you to fully understand what you're doing. 8.30 every Sunday morning we meet, and we want to encourage you to, we meet right across in Shekinah. Um, we have the children meeting in the prayer room, and those of you may say, look, Pastor, I, I really cannot come 8.30, but I'm prepared to probably join an online class. Where is Sister Sharon? Could, come, could you come? Stand up right there. Look, sister, come so. Right, this is Sister Sharon, and she has given herself to say, listen, um, I'm going to teach you online. Amen? So, in other words, we are making it possible. When you stand before Jesus, you have no excuse. No excuse. Now, let me see. How many of you are saying, Pastor, I am, I am born again, but I have not been water baptized and I'm looking forward to join the baptism class for November baptism. Lift your hands. Let me see. Okay, that's one. Hey, my partner, man. Kendall. Amen. Praise God. That's our little drummer boy. Yeah? The tumba, is Tumba you call it? Tongo, Congo. Tongo. What do you call it? What do you call it? You're laughing at me. You don't know. Okay, the two little things. And you... Will I help the person? Uh, Conga? Conga. Conga. Amen. The church in... <laughs> it's in Congo. It's Conga. Amen. The female of Congo. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> okay. So let me just wrap up the service here this morning. We had a wonderful service. How many of you enjoyed being here this morning? The presence of the Lord. Thank you for the choir. Thank you for the dancers. Thank you for Kem. Amen. Thank you for the worship team, the musicians, the, the, our floor manager, our car park attendants, uh, everyone, ushers, everybody. Praise the Lord. And we are going to be giving out some to um, our food baskets this morning. I want to thank all of you for contributing to our food basket. We help a lot of families. And this morning, 
We are going to be giving out to our families, some families who are here today. You will be able to collect your food basket outside at the, well, we go out into the breezeway, but I want to pray, I want to pray, I want to pray for these hampers, praise the Lord. I want to pray for those who are going to receive it, praise the Lord. What we are doing now, we are having, we are giving all these food baskets on the last Sunday, because we really want to encourage the folks to be recipients, not just of the food but be recipients of the word of God. Are you hearing me this morning, church? It's not the question, it's not food. Because people came to Jesus and they ate the bread. And, and they got bread and they ate their fill. They eat barbecue fish and bread. And, um, and then after Jesus preached the sermon in, in Matthew 5 to 7, when he looked around all God. So it's, 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 it's not just the giving of the food, but there's a more important part of us, and that is our soul that needs to be saved. Are you hearing me? That is more important. So, Father, we thank you for all who contribute to these food hampers. Thank you so much for the hands that will be giving month after month, year after year. Bless these hampers this morning as they go into the various homes that you will even multiply, nourish the bodies so that they in turn can serve you with strength and vitality. Thank you this morning. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let me, let me just share with you and uh, very shortly... I'm not going to take up too much of your time. But just let me share with you a text from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. That's 1 5. And if you want to know about the resurrection, you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And if you read from verse 15, probably from verse 12, 1 Corinthians 15 from verse 12, the Bible says, Now if Christ is preached, that he has been raised from the dead, how do some among you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? And, I, and, and at some point, I'm going to share with you the objections. There are a lot of people who will have objected to the resurrection. And, and it's right here in the scripture. It's nothing new. Some persons says that, you know, the real story about Jesus' death and resurrection was not told. Some say the disciples, they, 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 they overstated what went on. As a matter of fact, there was a, there's the interesting one that says that the body was stolen. You ever hear that one? Yeah, they came and they stole the body. As a matter of fact, some say, you know, Jesus didn't even die on the cross. You know, and we have all of these. But I like the one that says the what we call the swoon theory or the fainting theory that they said that Jesus really didn't die. He, he, he fell asleep and then he woke up. They say he didn't die. Amen. And you have I'm gonna share with you all of these things. But let me share this one. But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, listen to this, then our preaching is in vain. Your hope is in vain. You're wasting time. This morning you should be doing a half, half marathon or go down by the beach. What is happening here is a waste of time. Amen. Yes. And we are found to be false witnesses of God. That is the disciples. They are calling the disciples liars. Yes, if there is no resurrection. And um, verse, verse 16 says, For if the dead do not rise, then Christ 
has not risen. And if Christ has not risen, your faith is futile, waste of time, empty. You are still in your sins. Then also those who have fallen asleep, they who have fallen asleep in Christ, they, are, they have perished. They have died without any hope. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are all men the most pitiable, miserable. The resurrection, you know, we thank God for the death of Jesus. And the death of Jesus washes away all of our sins. All. If you believe that Jesus died for you, your sins are washed away. But let me tell you something about the, the resurrection. is the icing on the cake. If Jesus, listen to, listen to what I'm saying to you this morning. If Jesus had died and he didn't rise from the dead, then that death which Jesus died was in vain. Listen to what I'm telling you. The only reason why we have victory over death and death has no power over the child of God is because Jesus defeated death. Yes. How did he, Pastor, how Jesus defeated death? But he died. But that's how he defeated death. He died. And he showed that I could die. But he didn't remain dead. You all understand what I'm saying? Amen. He did not remain dead. He rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Never to die again. Amen. Are you hearing me this morning? That is why he's called the first fruit of the resurrection. He's not the first to rise from the dead, you know. Jesus is not the first. We have had several people in the Old Testament, several in the New Testament. In fact, the same day that Jesus died, they said the, the graves in Jerusalem were open. People rose from the dead on the day they crucified Jesus. Dead men were walking all over the streets of Jerusalem. Well, I guess, I guess they had some other deaths. When they saw all these sets of dead people walking, I'm sure they had to bury some people after. You understand? But what we need to understand the, import, the importance of the resurrection. That is significant. We read this morning in, in Chem, we talk about, oh grave, where's, where, where's your victory? Oh death, where's your sting? Jesus removed the sting from death. The sting. And I always like that illustration. Those of you my age will know what we're talking about. Long time we used to take Jap Spania. You all remember that? They all know that. And we remove the stinger from the tail. You all remember that? Yeah, we remove the stinger from the tail. We pull it out. And then we let the Jap Spania walk all over us. And you laugh because the Jap Spania cannot sting you. No sting. And that is what Jesus did. Jesus removed the sting. The sting of death is sin. That is the sting. Sin. And by Jesus dying on the cross, he took the place of you and I. He took our place. And so death, he took that sting out of death. So death no longer has power over the child of God. Death no longer has power over the believer. If you are in Christ Jesus, death cannot sting you. 
Even though you die, you shall live. Are you hearing what I'm saying this morning? Even though you die, you shall live. Because their death has no power over you as a child of God. But if you are not saved, and you're not serving Jesus, when you die, you're dead. When you die, you are dead. And that simply means you will be separated from God for all eternity. That is what death is. Separation. You die physically by your soul and body separating. The soul goes into eternity. The body goes back to the dust. But there's going to come a time when every soul, every soul that have gone to the grave will hear his voice. And every soul will rise. There's going to be a resurrection of everyone who died. Whether you die in Christ or whether you die outside of Christ. And they that hear his voice on that day shall rise. And those that have done well, those who have served Jesus in their lifetime, will rise to eternal life. And those who have rejected Jesus, who made all kinds of excuses, will rise, but rise to eternal condemnation. Both is eternal. Eternal life, eternal condemnation. Eternally with God, eternally separated from God. Both are eternal. Both are endless. Both. And so today we thank God for the resurrection. Because he lives is not just a song. It's not just a song. Because he lives, I'll face tomorrow. It's not just a song. But once you die in Christ, you have the assurance that you will rise again. And you will rise to eternal life. And if you have rejected Christ, you will rise again. But you are going to rise to eternal condemnation. You have a choice this morning. Those of you hearing me online, those of you in this august body, you have a choice to make. You could either serve Jesus now, and when he comes, you'll be with him. Even if you die before he comes, you're going to be still with him. Or you can reject Jesus now and spend the rest of eternity separated from God. If I were you, I will choose Jesus. If I were you. You don't go to the university to understand that. You don't have to go to Bible school to understand if you die without Jesus, you are separated from God for all eternity. And if you die in Jesus, you are going to be with God for all eternity. Which one do you prefer? Talk to me here this morning. Which one do you prefer? I made that decision something years ago, 79. Since 1979. How much years is that? You are the conks. 45 years. 45 years, you know. That is over half my life. And Brother Hooker, the only regret I, I have right now, I should have done it earlier than 79. I should have done it in 76. Or in 75. Or in 70 with the Black Power Revol Revolution. I should have done it earlier. That's the only regret. That I've wasted so many years before I accepted Jesus. 
And I want to give you an opportunity this morning again. I want to make a second call because I feel there are some people here today who need to make Jesus their Savior. You say, Pastor, I want Jesus. I am making the appeal. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm making another appeal. There is somebody here who needs to be saved. Who need to surrender your life to Jesus and, and, and serve him. Not just come up to the altar, but serve him. Pastor, I am that person. Could you slip your hand high? I want Jesus. Slip it quickly. Is there someone here this morning? You say, Pastor. Is there anybody in the balcony on the floor? Anybody like that here? You sure? Are you sure? All right. Thank you, Jesus. So what are we going to do now? We're going to call back our worship team. We're going to have a closing. We're going to sing joyfully. And while they are singing, and we want to ask the baptism candidates if they would leave now and go and get ready while the rest of us just rejoice for a little while and uh, thank those on, who have joined us online. Thank you so much. We we'll see you next week, Sunday. Same channel, same platform. 9.30. Remember, Sunday next week is 9.30. We resume our service, 8.30, Believer's Class. Could we stand? And God bless you.